have my honorary Haitian, Sac Passé. Sac Passé. What's up, my G? What up, man? What's going on, my man? Talk to me, man. What's good? What's going on? What's going on over there, man? Everything's good? First of all, is the connection good? Let me let me see. Cause sometimes the connection. I, I don't know. Are you running? Are you running with an iPhone? Cause sometimes when I'm in the living room, it likes to go in and out. Let me see. Nah, man, you gotta move. You gotta move to a better spot. You're probably running with an iPhone. Let me see. What you talk about, man? <laughs> Android. He's an iPhone user. I am an <laughs> iPhone abuser. Team Android. iPhone abuser. There you go. Okay, this is, this is the connection's a little better. How you doing, man? What's up, bro? You chilling? I'm good, man. Listen, man, we looking kind of rough out here, man. Like, no barbers. We looking kind of rough, bro. Look, look at me. I, I Like, these dogs about to turn into dreads. And... Yeah, but yo, you all right, though. You It's like you you lining yourself up or what? Yeah, you feel me? I, I had uh, to try a little bit. Yeah, man. Yo, but listen, man, let, let, me, let me ask you this though, real quick, though. How are you doing? How's the fam doing with all this stuff that's going on right now? Uh, we are staying afloat. Um finding all type of new hobbies. Um and uh just trying to stay away, you feel me? Because I don't think that people really understand how serious it is. Uh especially the younger generation. You know, like mm -hmm. everybody's out there uh partying and doing their own like little stuff and it's crazy. But um talk to them man. And I just feel like like not to take it to this extreme, right? To right. this extreme. But this is just once again how my and my mind functions. Like yep. and I know and that there's all in different ages watching, but how I see it, it's just like you know how people say, Oh, you have to use and protection while you're doing and but your thing. Yep. Everybody who's out in the world is basically having un protected whatever you feel yeah, what I'm saying? i got you if you understand what i'm yeah, saying like, I hear you. I'm like, you. like like and people are taking that risk you feel what i'm saying which is like okay so people are taking risks and with their lives just on the easy like these lives don't come you only got one dime a dozen you feel what i'm you saying got like one. you get one chance one shot like eminem do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity comes once in a come on man i hear you bro listen man and and on the flip side it's funny because like they they're not realizing like i don't want to stop my life you know I me mean? there's two there's two types of people right now there's i don't want to stop what i'm doing my my life is good this that and the third and then there's other people that you know I me mean, are into controversies right and it is it's, it's about oh this is a hoax this is some bs it's some bold you know what i'm saying there's so many people thinking the different things and like yo just sit your ass at home you know just stay home stay home stay your ass at home yo people don't understand that just stay home but i understand yo like uh, everybody is in different situations. You yep. feel what I'm saying? Everybody's home isn't, you feel me, as nice as like a Russell Wilson or a crazy, you know, highest paid like but like left tackle money. But yep. it's just like you just have to just fight this fight and stay home so we can all get back to our regular life. No and doubt. If yeah. people don't, you feel me? We and we're gonna be on isolation for for a minute, and then there's gonna be no ball, and then people are gonna be. I got going, I like going say, crazy. I gotta say you something. Know? My man Jordan Phillips is watching right now. He says, "Yo, bro, you gotta chill with your mom's spaghetti face ass." <laughs> chill. <laughs> no Yo, I I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go there just yet, but I I might as well because my man Jordan Phillips is there. Because I mean, me and Jordan have chopped it up. And he's a good dude. But yo, how many pancakes you gonna serve up to Jordan Phillips? Me? I, I think I think we won't. I think we play the Cardinals this year. So yeah, we actually do play the uh, Cardinals. I see my sister. Is on this thing, Posh Graham was good, but um, uh, as far as Phillips, you know, he's no more uh, a Buffalo Bill, but he's a mm -hmm. Buffalo Bill for life because of how he treated the fans. So no I doubt. love him to death. But um, yeah. I'm coming for as many as possible. All fair game. I won't do nothing dirty. But listen, bruh, I'm asking Tell you me. like this. I'm asking you like this, huh? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, right at him, right at him. It don't Yo, matter. Listen, as as a as a right now, if you don't rock that 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 red, white, and blue, man, it's killer be killed, man. Talk to him, man. It's killer be killed. <laughs> Yo, this is how we finna do it. Cause, Cause the Buffalo Bills, you see what Bean and McDermott is doing. 
man, these dudes, man, these dudes are serious. These dudes are serious. And guess what? They leading the charge. And guess who's right behind him? <laughs> guess who's right behind him? Let's go. <laughs> so, yo, let me tell you, because you you the mac and cheese boss, right? And the I mac and cheese, we, we stir the mac and cheese like this. This is what you were talking about, right? Stir him up. Listen, we're not stirring anything up now. Now we in the contract year. We we flipping pancakes. You got to change this up to flipping pancakes, man. We yeah, in the man. contract year. So I gotta ask you this, man. It's contract year. Talk to you me. You see, you see your peers getting getting to the bag. Yeah. Does your motivation change? Does thing do things change because it's the year that you know what I mean? All right, I'm trying to get paid. What what? Yes. Yeah, so so uh. Hopefully, everybody and that's watching, like, y'all could all get this answer once. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Let's go. Um, I don't care about and getting paid. I don't care that it's contract year. I don't care about any of that stuff. I'm not worried about and getting paid. I'm not chasing no contract. I'm not trying to go and get a contract. I am worried about playing my best football. You know what I'm saying? I got my guard back, which is Quentin Spain. I have my center back, which is Mitch Morris. I have my guard back, which is John Feliciano, and I have my right tackle back, which is Cody Ford and Ty Naseki. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, whatever it is to win, that's what it is. I'm not worried about trying to flip the mark. None of that stuff. I don't care about none of that. I'm blessed. I'm blessed enough. I'm living here. Look, I'm living here in Florida. I'm living. living. I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? And greed. Greed, like greed is not me. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, the thing that I'm most greedy about is winning this Super Bowl. Damn right. So uh, that's all Damn I'm right. worried about. You feel what I'm You're saying? Rich. That's You're all I'm Schnell. worried about. So for the people that don't know, Snow, know that it's time to go. It's time to go. <laughs> Yo, listen, let me, on a real note, though, that's the best answer that you can give. And let me tell you something. From, from your young buck, right? I can say that because I'm a little older than you, but young buck, yeah, yo, God's sure. got you, man. Respect. God's got you. Where you, He made you go to Buffalo for a reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He got you protecting Josh Allen for a reason. We drafted yeah. Josh Allen for a reason. Yo, you will be taken care of. Yeah. You, be, I mean, you best believe that. It's, it's all good. Whether it happens or it doesn't, I had a piece of Buffalo, and Buffalo had a piece of me. And uh, when, when it's all I'm trying to be a Buffalo le legend forever. You feel what I'm I saying? Like that. Hey, yo, we got, the we got the cleanest uniforms in the league, man. I don't care, I don't care what anybody tells me. The for cleanest sure. uniforms in the league. That's a fact. Yeah, yo, Jordan Phillips, you, I like yo. the red that you're rocking, but you're rocking the wrong red, my G. I'm just saying. It's a fact. But on some real, though, Jordan Phillips, yo, he's a really, really good dude, man. A really, yep. really good dude. And, uh, over over like Phillips's years, like him and Richie had beef. Right. So when Phillips first got here, I wasn't rocking with Phillips because of Richie. And I'm loyal. You feel what I'm saying? So no if doubt. my big homie don't like you and whatever, you take it how you and you take it. If Richie say he don't and, and rock with you, I don't yeah, rock yeah. with you. I if Spain say that he don't and rock with you, I don't and rock with you. But you know, Jordan was with the Dolphins, so it was already a rivalry. You know, Richie played guard, Jordan played like inside, so they hated each other so the first while that jordan and was here i was like man and this dude da, 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 da. and then you know and the season start like coming around and i'm like looking at this dude change and uh what what really flipped the whole switch for me was when jordan phillips came to an offensive line dinner he like but, but like he said yo y'all are a good group y'all really do love each other and i want to come out and he came out, he showed love, he did his thing, he wasn't greedy, he was cool, he kept it chill. And I was like, yo, and this dude is all right. But guess yo. what, though, when we pay them Cardinals, I'm going to tell you, you're missing out on some Buffalo now. <laughs> yeah. Yo, keep, keep, keep that same energy, though. Keep that same energy. <laughs> yeah. How, what was your reaction when the Bills traded for Stephon Dix? Uh, I was excited, you know, very, very excited. Um, and just was, and just was like, uh, like if I could describe the excitement, it was, it was almost like, uh, 
give, if, give, the, if, give the fans the, right, the Dion, so the Dion a, analogy. Give yo, it to me. Yeah, I got to give it and like this. I jumped in the mind of Josh Allen, and I just thought, like, wow, it's Christmas, and I just got the best Christmas present I could have ever got. You know what I'm saying? And Josh has more targets, more options to get that ball out. And uh, not like – but, like, not saying, like, nothing about our guys because our guys are great. No but doubt. it's just a bonus. It's just a bonus. Like, like Josh basically got an extra Christmas present after Christmas, and so did the rest of the organization and the uh, team. So, you feel me? Let's keep it rocking. It's like, it's like, going, to, it's like going to McDonald's and you went to the drive-thru. Talk to me. You ordered a McChicken, and, and when you open the bag, there's a large fry in there. <laughs> and there's a large fry in there. There's a large fry in there. And two yeah. chickens. And yeah. you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Or, or, or it's like this. You ready? You ready? You ready? Give it to him. It's like, well, like, you don't know, like, not, but, like, nothing about Philly. And uh, I don't know how, how Canada rocks out, but it's like going to McDonald's, ordering a big meal, right, and asking for more than one sauce. And they don't charge you for an extra sauce. Yo, yo, like that's like asking for barbecue sauce, honey mustard, shoot, ranch, and they say, How many, sir? Three of each. <laughs> Three of and, each. And, and you want to know what the best part of what it is? Talk to me. Sauce never goes bad. Yeah. You bring the sauce home and put it in the fridge. In the fridge. You but the juice going to run out, though. But that juice going to run out. That's the why the dog out. is nothing but this shush. <laughs> Yo, you know, man. Listen, man, if you guys are tuned in for the first time, this is the Buffalo Fanatics. I'm with my guy, Dion. You are ready. Snow, snow, snow. That's my guy. Yo, listen, what you doing in Florida right now, man? Uh, Well, right now, it's uh, it's 5 and 25, and uh, I'm on a decline, like, of the a day. So I'm relaxing. I'm playing some in Call of Duty, and uh, I'm chilling. You know, uh, with all of this corona stuff and going on, it's hard to – you know, get in the rhythm of your workouts and stuff like that. Cause you know, guys are used to waking up at seven or eight or nine and going like into the gym every morning. And now we're not supposed to leave. So I've been trying to figure out as much stuff as possible that I and can do. So I just adapted a pool workout that uh, I'm going to be doing every day until, nice. uh, until we in and go back. And um, I'm just trying to be in the best shape as possible. So we can do what? We can do what? We can win the Super Bowl. Come on, talk to me, Rico. Yo, talk yo, to me, yo, Rico. Yo. Listen, let me tell you something. And I, I gotta bring. I gotta. I'm gonna have to try to tackle this from two two sides, right? Yeah. The one thing I do want to know is that every every player has something they always want to refine with their game. So going into year four, you're you're almost. I don't want to call you a vet yet. You're like in that. You're like into the league you know what's up like you, you're ready to apply everything you got but there's always a way to try to get better what in your game you feel you're trying to refine and get better this year i'm trying to be a master of my craft while also also being a master of the playbook you know over these uh couple of years um i took the playbook serious but you feel me i think that it's time to you know take that that triple extra step not and not just the extra step but I'm trying to take the triple, like, but like extra step. Like, uh, I'm I'm just trying to do longer days in the building with studying and learning exactly the scheme of the play. You because, yeah. you know, like, like anybody can can learn to step left and step right. But when it comes to like now, really understanding, okay, we're doing this play, so this can happen and this can happen, and he can get open and he can get, you know. Uh, a lighter block, so this follow-up play is going to be the banger. It's just a setup play, like and stuff like that. So, uh, like, I'm just trying to master uh, the playbook, master okay. ball. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. Just, I feel that. just, just trying, trying to be a a, a big-time scholar of the playbook. Man, you, you're the, you're the, you're the protector, man. You're the left tackle. So, yeah, everything that you just said, man, that's that's only going to make the team better, Josh Allen better, and we're gonna be putting six up all day and that's how i feel that's how i love all day all, all day, day all day so and, and and hold up and just to tell yeah. you you know digs and Diggs gonna come in there he gonna catch a couple of balls but then he gonna see damn bro them boys is running that rock them boys is running that rock you know it's okay. a double banger it's a double banger with all the running backs in the backfield running Listen. behind your boy 
listen, you feel me? This is where I was going to go right after. I'm, I'm, yo, we on the same page, man. We are on the remediation side. Come on, on. Come on dog. Napule. Listen, Come we, on, man. I can speak for all Bills fans. All Bills fans. We love Devin Singletary. That boy is, yeah. he's nice. He's just nice, right? For sure. Can he do it all by himself, or is it nice to have a, a one-two punch? Like, we have Frank Gore, you know what I'm saying? But Frank Gore, we don't know what's going on with Frank Gore. We got TJ in the building, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then we got Christian Wade marinating on the sideline. So how do you feel about the running back room? I love it. But how, yeah. is this something you can tell the fans more about that running back room? Well, Frank Gore is everything that you think of him, plus, yep. plus 30, you know what I'm saying? Frank Gore is really who Frank Gore is. Singletary is a young legend, and he will be exactly what he wants to be. He's learning from Frank. He's training and with Frank. He trains with Shady. And uh, he's just crafting and scraping all of their tools off of them into him. But uh, I think as a whole, to answer your first question, yeah. that um, Devin – well, first of all, nobody can do it by – and. Uh, their self, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Everybody needs somebody to back them up or somebody to, you know, help them out and just, like, little stuff. So yeah. I would never say that nobody can can do it by and herself because there's no I in team, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but there's an ME in this motherfucker. Oh, no, there, there, is, there is an ME in this motherfucker. <laughs> but uh, I, like, like, I think as a whole that running back core does a good job. And they have a great fullback, you feel what I'm saying? Like, Pat DeMarco blocks for him. Which which is a legend, and Pat's come is is coming back, and Pat no. uh, is a guy who really doesn't get all all that praise, but he does a lot. A, a lot of that the success comes from Pat. A lot of the running game and success comes from Pat, and uh, you know I kind of see Pat as like how the O line doesn't ever get their their shine. Pat is like in the O line energy you know what i'm saying and for the running backs guys like pat demarco is going to make that room a legendary room forever yo do you do you know who i really like in your o-line group talk like to I, me yo john feliciano man he, he, he's a dog yo i don't know but I, I don't know the man personally but something about this dude i like and i love that you guys are all like this in that in that group yeah i love it man for sure yeah, Lee. yes this is exciting man John Fel Feliciano is a uh, – how can I describe John in one Dude, word? Nowhere. I would say savage. Savage. John is, is just a savage. He's one of them dudes who's going to come in. He's not about to say a whole bunch of stuff. He's going to say a little bit of stuff. But when it's time to go, John just goes. In the game, he's going to talk shit. He gonna say, "Run the ball behind me." And he yep. gonna get it done. John, yep. John is a special dude simply because John can play multiple positions. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of John's strong points that makes him, you know, one of those standpoints on this line. And um, John has showed it all year long. Like, but like he showed that dog all year long. And you understand that John uh, loves our old line coach which means that John is going to play every down for his old line coach, which, yes. which, which we all do. Like OG, well, we call him OG Bob and Bobby Johnson, one of the realest out there ever. Well, we ever do. That's what one of the realest ever. OG Bobby Johnson. Don't, and uh, he so keeps it real. Can... He keeps it real with us, so we keep it real and for him. And uh, as far as John, I think that John has been doing a heck of a job, man. And, and I, the thing is, this is perfect because the next question I had was about Bobby Johnson because we wanted to get into old line. So when I played, uh, and I was in the running back room, so I always heard, you know, I mean, the old lineman and talking, and the coach was always like, "You heard this before. Hold your water. You know, what I mean, quit jumping offside, right?" That's life. What's one of those. What's one of them lines that OG would always, you know, it's coming from his mouth. What's the one thing OG always says? Uh. You really want to know? That, man, put it out there. That, but that he loves us. Oh shit, for real. 
that he he genuinely loves each and every person in that O line room. You know, Bob, uh, OG isn't one of those dudes who's who's gonna yell and do all that crazy stuff on the field. Like he speaks from 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 his chest, and when he says to like when he tells us we're all in this together and that he loves each and every and one of us, each and every person in that room believes him. And uh, I think that that's what keeps that, like, that room like this. You feel what I'm saying? Because we believe our spear. And that's, Yo, that's, that's love, Bobby man. Johnson. That's love, man. Yo, by the way, we are tuned in with my guy Deion Dawkins. Yo, yeah. Snow, snow, snow. We got 279 people viewing right now. Yeah. Uh, and it's lit. Um, and it's feeling good, man. Yo, you, you still want to chop it up? Because I got a few more questions I got to ask you. Bro, I'm chilling, ask you dog. You, yeah, you already know the question. Yo, okay, okay. If it's so for the mafia... There's, it's, it's, it's a yes, bro. It's, it's a yes. It's love. Yo, hold on. Let me just jump off the football stuff. Are you are you playing Call of Duty right now? What? Well, it's not. War, yeah. The Warzone? Like, my Xbox is on. Yes. I, I rock with Warzone all day. Every day. You said Xbox? Listen, man. Everybody got their preferences. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just like you, you wearing a white, I'm wearing a black I shirt. Got you. you know what I'm saying? I, I, I wear black every day. It's just okay. me. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. Xbox is me. Bigger so, hands, bigger con and controllers. The controllers are more comfortable for my hand. I will I will say this, though. The Xbox controller is a little bigger. I don't like it personally, but for some that have bigger hands, maybe that works out. That works yeah, out. Absolutely. Uh, what's your KD? You have a nice KD? I don't really ever and look at that, and I really don't know how. Okay. Um, but uh, but you're nice? I'm, I'm on the better side. Like, what? like I'm not low tier. <laughs> I'm not middle tier. I'm like, okay, Dion, <laughs> Dion plays this this game. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like he plays. <laughs> what 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 loadout you run with? Um, so if you're talking about when the the crate drops and you have uh, a loadout, I have an M4 and uh, nice. I have a sniper. I have an M4 and a sniper. Oh, I put that perk on so I can have two pry. You go you going with the overkill. Of course, and then I have a thermal uh, scope on on uh, my M4, and then I have just a long distance with the sniper. Look at this guy! You think yeah. you're nice like that, huh? No, I am legit, <laughs> legit. <laughs> legit. Hot. All right, all right. <laughs> let's get okay. So now let's get back to the football talk. Talk so to me. We already know the AFC has changed. Yeah, has changed, right? Yep. Small changes. Um, huh? Small changes. So Shaq Lawson is with Miami now. So Miami's kind of building a little something, something over there in South Beach where you are right now, which is cool. But yep. there's one glaring thing that's happened. Tom Brady's out of the AFC East. Does that change anything? What's what are the people what are the what are you guys talking about on the on the team? Are you guys happy he's gone? Are you guys like, damn, I wanted his ass no more? So what what's what's the chatter right now? I mean, a coward would easily say, Oh, we're so happy that Tom Brady is gone. But me, myself, I would have loved to beat him. Uh, but we haven't had the chance to beat him. So uh, uh, I'm going to keep that on the business part. You know, it happened. Cool. We'll take it for and what it is. Yeah. But uh, everybody thinks that it's, it's about to be a walk in the park. And it's the total opposite. Like, True. I think that we, like we have an even bigger target on our back now because our conference and the world sees what the Bills are doing. So people are going to try to come for us even harder now just to keep us as, you feel me, like, oh, that's just the Buffalo Bills. But nah. Same old Bills. Yeah, but even though it isn't, uh, I'm just saying that I think that this season is going to be the hardest one yet. You know what? I'm going to say that I agree with you, and the chatter has – I've been asked that question. And I, and I say, you know what? Tom Brady is one player, but don't forget, that organization has been doing this a long time with Tom Brady, but they still got Bill Belichick over there, and that boy knows how to get people ready. So you can't just say, we got this, because it's yeah. not going to be like that. You feel? Yeah, yeah. I, that's what that's I'm saying. But... And, and people don't understand that, you know, everybody in the NFL is in the NFL for a reason. And uh, right. it's never, it's never a walk in the park. It's never a walk in the park. Now I could say some, like some games, might be easier than others just yeah. off of depth chart alone. But you know what I'm saying? Like it's just, 
It's never a walk in the park, man. Never is. I hear never, you. never. It will be. Nothing will ever be easy. This is the NFL. That's this is the best life. of the best of the best of the of best. The best. Playing the against elite. the best of the best of the best. You know what I'm elite saying? Elite of the elite. I get that. Um, yes, yeah, so what it is. When when we talk about like all these movements, right? Tom Brady to uh, to the to the Bucks. You feel me? And then you have, and I, I want your opinion on this. I'm just I'm just curious. You have Cam Newton, and you got Jameis Winston right now. Good quarterbacks, and they're homeless right now. <laughs> just for fun, where would you put each each of these quarterbacks? If you just put them on a the team, where would you put them? Just for fun. Just for fun. For fun. Just for fun. Um. So the you said that the two quarterbacks that you want to talk about is Cam Newton and who else? And and Jameis Winston right now. Those are the two that right now are are, are homeless. They got no they got no teams. Well, I'm a Cam Newton fan, so I would love for Cam to be with us just to have him around and just to, you know, just for fun. just just be a no, never for for fun because Cam is still Cam Newton. Let's not That's right. forget that. So it's never just for fun, but you know, like as a bigger quarterback, I think that he can teach Josh just just mental stuff. Yep. Not to get hit. Just to slide. Don't jump over people. <laughs> you know, just stuff and like that. But um if I could see where Cam should go, I think it'll be cool to see Cam. Hmm. It's tough. Think, it's tough. You seriously? I think it, like it would be cool to to see Cam uh, in New York, Giants. Oh, the Giants! Oh, I, like 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 I think that that like would be a cool new twist to the NFL. You know what I'm saying? And uh, as far as Jameis, okay. yeah. I have no idea. I have no idea about Jameis. Um, no idea. I have no idea. Because I'm like I, I'm thinking too. Some people are saying, "Yo, he should just go to see uh, to Pittsburgh and just sit behind Ben Roethlisberger." Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking that, yo, send him send him to – I thought Cam to Washington would be nice. That's – yeah. Cam to the Raiders would be nice. I don't know about Carr. You know what I'm saying? Cam to and the Chargers. Cool. But my guy Tyrod's over there. I still got I still look at love for Tyrod. Bro, we all do. I love Tyrod. You know what I'm saying? So I want Tyrod to get his opportunity, but I like Cam too. It's just one of those things, man. Like, this league is, is funny, man. Yo, it's extremely funny. You never know. Stuff happens every day, man. Stuff happens Real talk, every day. Man. Real talk. And uh, it's a it's a chess game with and with real people, and no, uh, that's no what questions. people don't understand that uh, at any moment out we would ha like have to pick up our whole life and go somewhere else. That's, Just that's off a of a chess move, whether that whether that move is right or it's wrong, you know, we'll have to get up and 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 get in the car and hit, hit the road, man. All right, man, I hear you, bro. So I'm gonna jump into the comments because I I have some I have like 39 questions that people ask. So Yo, I'm gonna, check, I'm gonna I, take the best ones. That's one of them. Let's go. Let, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the best ones and we're gonna keep it rocking. So um, let me see what we have here. So they want see Bills fans are funny this way. They have a big fascination with the face mask. So one of the questions was ask. White one. At, <laughs> you already know. Ask Dion to talk to the front office. I love say, it. Try to get the white face mask. Are you For sure? About that? I'm gonna tell you the truth. We all have made comments about it. The white face masks are hard. Them jaws are serious, but um, it's never that easy. Just for whoever's watching, just know it's never that easy to just switch from something totally different to something. You know, it's never that easy. Is that you know, the like they give you? It. It's there's there's too many contracts. Like there's too many. Deals that and that go on with approvals of oh. of uniforms and stuff like that. Like there's too much stuff that goes on oh, that okay. that it's never it's never night just like and day. This. It, nothing, nothing can be night and day. But as far as the Bills, the Bills love it. The Bills do love it. We love it. The players love it, and we felt the swaggiest that we ever felt with them white face masks. But you know. I honestly think in the the near future that we might be snowed out. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so one of the other questions was, have you had a chance to reach out to the new free agents that we brought in? So your Vernon Butlers, your Mario Addisons, uh, you know what I'm saying, your, your, your uh, Jeffersons. Have you had a chance to reach out to any of the new guys? 
So the only one that I have reached out so far is Tyler Matikavich. Oh, Matikavich, yep. Which I know uh, he's a Temple guy. I went to Temple. Tyler yes, went, went to Temple. I played with Tyler all the way through college. Tyler a year older. So I, and, uh, yeah, and, um, you know, I, I usually reach out to offensive guys up, first and then let the defensive guys do – and their thing, and I'll catch up on the far end, but um, I will. And since, like, we have all of this, like, in downtime, I for sure will. I'm going to try to get in touch with Diggs and all those dudes. Addison, no like, I know uh, when we had camp, like, Addison is a solid player, yo, solid player. And yep. uh, I'm very happy that uh, they picked him and they picked him up. So I like know. that, man. Yeah. Uh, one of the questions is coming from uh, Saku808. Saku808 says, what feels different from the first year when you got here to right now? Um, what feels different? Like, as yeah. far as life? I guess for you as a player, I guess you as a person, what feels different yeah. from year one to right now? Uh, confidence, yo. Like, I would say confidence, man. Uh, I'm more confident in myself. I'm more confident with how I speak. the people that well not that i've ever had people bad people around me but i did some restructuring of the energy that i had around me and uh like i would say that i have more of a vision of what i want to do and not you know just what others want me okay. to be doing like like i have a voice for it in myself now and uh i'm just confident with who dion ray dawkins is the left tackle for the Buffalo Bills. I'm confident with the 10 toes that I stand on, and I'm confident in the direction that I'm going in my life. I like and uh, I like that. You know. I like that. I like that. All right. I got another one from uh, R. Stinson3. says, Dion, any Louisville prospects you'd like Buffalo to take in a draft? Yo, I, I'm going to say sorry now. I don't pay too much attention to the draft, you know. Um the world puts a lot of pressure on these young guys. Yep. And, uh, you know, like if a guy like gets drafted early, they expect him to come in and, and be the best player ever. And, you know, it's just hard on them. So I got just wait and I see whatever happens, happens. Then when I and get here and when, when they get here, I just give them the most praise, but uh, I have no idea. Like, I don't even know if we have any first round picks anymore. Do we? We don't. We got rid of it. We got. I mean, we do. Stephon Diggs. So that's then we got. we got a first rounder, and we're good. There you go. So I mean, that's and that's that's fair because to ask. I mean, for you guys to talk on other prospects coming in is tough. I mean, unless a dude is coming from your alma mater, your school, you're gonna have some love for him, right? Um, there is a question. There is a question I I personally do have though, um, and this is from me. I've always wanted to ask you this question. Um, mm -hmm. You came into the league. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you were like a guard slash tackle. And did you feel and do you still feel the pressure, the organizational pressure, the fan base pressure that you are the left tackle and you're protecting the franchise quarterback? Is there a sense of pressure that's like, Shh, I, I, can't, I can't let this man down or I can't let the organization down because I'm the guy protecting the blind side. Is there some kind of pressure there? Well, to answer the question, uh, I would never let my team down. Or my quarterback now, no and uh, there's always pressure. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like the offensive line is a position where if you make one little mistake, it's it's in a in a uh, microscope. Like, yeah. it's blasted. Like, you make one one mistake, the whole world sees it instantly. If I step left and the whole line is, is going right. They instantly see that. If I jump yeah. off sides, which I have, your name is get is getting called. They stop the whole thing. We start over. You know what I'm saying? So uh, there's there's always pressure. But for me, knowing who I am, I would never let that happen. Never. I respect that. I respect never. that. Because, and I ask that question because, like, as a young guy, like you said, there's a lot of pressure already on a young player. And then on yeah. top of that, you're in a marquee position, left tackle, center, you know what I'm saying, quarterback, receiver, yeah. DB. 
um, it becomes, I mean, like the magnifying glass is on you. So I always wondered, like, yo, is there like that much pressure? Especially as a rookie, too, man. Bro, I, bro. And there's pressure every second of being a part of a billion, trillion dollar industry. Because everybody is looked at in a microscope. And if you do one thing wrong, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Time to go. Um, I do want you to have a conversation with Brian Dale before me, real quick. Um, yeah. I need you to put in his head that you want to become the most – you want to have the most receiving touchdowns by old linemen by the, and by the time your career is done. Absolutely. Can we make that happen? Absolutely. Because it's possible. It is definitely possible, and I honestly think that it's definitely going to happen. But uh, I'm telling you, man. But – even though the Buffalo Bills fans, the mafia likes to see it, I would rather be named as one of the best to ever do it in my position as a left tackle than to get, you know, all of the shine for catching touchdowns. Because as real as it is, that's not what I do. Yeah. Even though I can do it. I protect the quarterbacks in blindside. That's where I want to stand at in this, like, in my life. Like, I want to be so, so solidified as that first. And then all that extra stuff, hoorah, cool, and let's do it. But uh, touchdowns are definitely cool, yeah. and uh, I'm for it. But I definitely would like to be the best left tackle first before I do that touchdown stuff. Yo, man, you know? respect, man. You, do, you know, do you know that you are a fan favorite in Buffalo? Like, Coming from the from, I'm I'm with the fan. We talk, we chat, we're all up in the chat. Yo, they love you, bro. Do you yeah. know that? I mean, I do know that I am uh, I'm well loved. Yes, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, I embrace it. You know, like I embrace everybody who reaches out to me. I try to get back to everybody that messages me and DMs me and all that stuff. Like I try to do it as respectable and you know clean and clearly as possible to get back to everybody. Cause I like, I really like for, for people to realize that, yo, uh, we're just regular dudes, man. We're just regular mm -hmm. dudes that, that, that wear a uniform on Sundays and Mondays and Thursdays. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I'm a normal, I'm a normal dude. So whenever y'all see me, talk to me, I'm, I'm here for it. My energy is like this all day, every day. So, um, you know, the Bills fans know that I love them. And I'm pretty sure that that's why they love me the same way. Yo, man, Dion Doc for president? My God, leave, man. You Dion a good dude, my G. president. <laughs> so I got, I'm going to go through a few more questions, my G, before I want to uh, let you go. And I want you, you all to good. Thanks for it. So, yeah, um, so we have, when it comes down to, let me see, I got Zane Gall says, should the Bills go running back in free agency or draft? Some people like to know about this because right now the, what's hanging in the violence right now is free agency. It's still going on, and the draft. What's the question again? So, should the Bills go running back in free agency or draft? Running back. Ain't you just uh, ask me a question about our and running back room? <laughs> I like my running back room, but some people feel that we need another guy. I mean, we can always have another guy. Like there can always be a, another guy. You know what I'm saying? Like if you want another guy that's going to be point one second faster, or you know. One percent less body fat, then cool, man. Have the Madden type of characters. You do what y'all want to do and think, and what y'all want to think. Ain't, ain't none of us perfect. And uh, yo, I, I don't really you. care. You know really? what I'm saying? I, I, and I, I like, like, that. like, like, I think that we good, man. Like, like anybody that and that comes on, they are gonna be a a, a, a significant help to every part of what's going on. No but, doubt. I'm saying that we good. Like, yo, we good. We yeah, good. We good, B. Yeah. So and, and we people, good. People do want to know about Christian Wade though, because he's on our team. Yeah. And we knew that he was he was raw. You know what I'm saying? Rugby player. He's you know what I mean? So a lot of the game last year was him learning. What did you see with him along the year, along the way? Learning is yeah. exactly right. Learning. Okay. You feel me? It's basically uh how I seen it was it was him learning how to ride a bike, an advanced bike, for the first time. They took the okay. the, the training, training wheels, wheels wheels off and they threw them in the a fire. And um, he's just learning. He's just learning. You know, 
I wasn't expecting nothing crazy from him because he was in his learning phases. But, right. you know, like, but like he's learned and he's still learning and he's learning behind people that are great. You know what I'm saying? So his his learning rate is at a faster rate. And uh, it'll show. It'll but, like, show. It, but like, it'll show. Just people just need to be patient. You know, like everybody wants to come on. Da, da, da. Nah, but like these these are real people, man. Like yeah. like let them let them go about and the growth. You know what I'm saying? Let them go about the growth. And uh, Krishna Way overall is a good dude, family man, beautiful family. You know, um, and he's just a good dude. A good dude. I like that man. I, I like that. I mean, I, I, yo, I don't like you have no idea. Like, I know the players are excited to get back onto the field and get into the mix, but the fans, bro, we are we're elated for this season to start. And we like it, finish, but man, like this this whole little thing that's going on right now. Let's put a little. It, it makes us wonder. Like, man, is this season gonna go through? And it, it makes us wonder. So I'm hoping that things work out. You get with the squad. You get with everybody. We get healthy and we go get after it. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, it's real. That's real. It's the, that's just real. The field, man. That's the way I look at it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my guy Dion, dumb man. You already snow in Florida. I mean, the snow's not melting. You still looking fresh right there, boy. Trying, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to look as tip top in my tip top shape. You feel I me? see, man. And the funny thing is, the last time we spoke, you were in the early phases of the hair. The hair is coming through, man. Yo, it's coming through. You it's know, coming. I take it out. It's coming through. I, I I redo it. It got its length. I try to keep it. You feel me? Looking, looking good. You know, I. I I got that good hair, so, you know, it, it don't try to, you know, try to stay straight at the bottom, but. I, I hear that, man. So, listen, man, I'm going to just, I'm going to let you be. I'm going to let you do what you do. I really, you know, I, you know how it is, and I appreciate you coming through. Everybody, you need to know this, man. You hit this man up. He will do his very best to hit you guys back and try yeah. to answer because he is the man of the people. Absolutely. That's just, that's just what it is. So, I want you to no, plug so. anything that's going on with you right now. What's going on? Do you have any uh, charities right now? Do you have any, uh, your gear? Talk to the people. What are you plugging right now? Yo, uh, I'm plugging the mafia, man. Let's just do it all and together. You know, uh, if you don't know, I do have a website. Uh, if you go on snowgear and and dot com, y'all can buy hoodies and hats and shirts and stuff like that. But uh, I just want everybody to understand that we're gonna need everybody. This go, you know what I'm saying? Like we're gonna need all the positivity. Everybody stay with us. Nobody's perfect. Yes, I seen a comment. On this, John, like Dion had 11 in penalties. Yes, I did. And if I had 12, I would still be here talking the way that I'm talking. You want to know why? Because I'm not perfect. And neither are you. So I just want the world to understand that ain't nobody perfect, man. And we're going to keep doing this thing together. And guess what? We're going to end up with a. Hey, listen, man. Talk we're going to end up with Talk a ring. Him. Talk to him. And just people just, and just got to keep that positivity. Because that negativity, we don't got no time for it. And I don't well, know if y'all read. The letter that I wrote you guys through the players tri 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 and Tribune, but we don't got no more space, bro. We are at full capacity, full capacity. Ain't nobody left to jump on that bandwagon now. Y'all keep y'all dirty comments and keep all that BS. Keep it to yourself. You Yo, know what I'm saying? Man. Because we're going to love ours, and ours is going to love us the way it's supposed right. to be. And uh, we're going to keep this thing thugging. We're going to keep this thing rocked out because I'm iced out to the fully. To the fullest, and we're gonna keep this thing doing it and what it do. Rico is that boy, Buffalo Fanatics is that you feel me, La Familia. And you know, yo, I speak on it, man. Speak on it. But listen, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, listen, man, this is my guy, Dion Dawkins, our left tackle. You know what I'm saying? We ain't perfect, you ain't perfect, but you nah. know what? It's it's like we're going, we're aiming to be that as close as we can, yeah. and that's that's all that matters, man. You yeah. put your 100, percent that's all that matters to us. We love you, man. So listen, man. My guy Dion Dawkins came through showing love. Uh, we're gonna chop it up another time, my G. So uh, Bro, you know get it. on them sticks. I might have to try to hit you up and pop, pop, pop. Get you on there. Anytime, dog.